Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an M.2 drive in the OWC Excelsior 1M2 PCIe card. We've gathered our materials and are working on a soft static rework surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove this heatsink. To do this, we'll need to flip the Excelsior over and remove these four Phillips screws. The heatsink can now be set aside. The Excelsior 1M2 can take M.2 SSDs of several different form factors. 2280 is the most common and is what the card is set up to use by default. However, if you have another form factor SSD, there are other options available. To install an SSD, you'll first need to remove this Phillips screw. There is a notch in the M2 connector on the SSD that corresponds to a pin in the slot in the card. Align the two and slide them together. Then, secure the drive with the Phillips screw you removed earlier. For M.2 SSDs of a different form factor, you'll need to move the drive post. First, set the drive roughly into place to determine which hole you'll need to move the post to. Hold the small hex nut on the back of the card in place. Using your finger should be sufficient, but you can use pliers or a small wrench if you wish. Then, using a 5mm socket wrench, unscrew the post from the card. You can now set the ridged hex nut in the desired position and reattach the post. Once you have the drive in place, set the Excelsior's heatsink in place over the drive. Then, flip the card over and secure the heatsink with its four Phillips screws. Your Excelsior is now ready to install. In this video, we're installing the Excelsior in an OWC Helios, but the same basic instructions apply if you're installing it in any compatible PCIe slot. There is a notch near the front of the PCIe connection on the card that corresponds to a pin in the PCIe slot you're installing into. Align the two and press the card into place until it's seated fully. Then, make sure the slot bracket is secured. Your Excelsior 1M2 is now ready to format and use.